that's the match after this one. Todd Martin and David Wheaton features the number one player in the world, Pete Sampras, against Britain's Andrew Foster. There was a lot of concern uh, and commentary in the British media about why wouldn't they put uh, this match in one of the show courts. But it's out. 1,800 will see it. Most of those were those that lined up all night to get in. This is Todd Martin and David Wheaton, and that was a very significant point because Todd Martin breaking Wheaton has taken the first set 6-4. So Martin, who was the giant 6-foot, six 6-inch six from Northwestern University that took out Gorn Ivanisevich on Saturday, 6-love in the fifth against David Wheaton, he excused Michael Chang, the 12th seed, in five dramatic sets on Saturday. There's Wheaton. Second set. They're two and two, head to head. In the round of 16, a half dozen American players remain, and of course the men's final will be decided on the 4th of July Sunday. Well, Dick, these are two very evenly matched yes, players. Tall players, six foot four, six foot six inches tall. I think the slight edge right now might go to Todd Martin, obviously having won the first set, but also defeating David Wheaton for his first pro title a couple months ago in the United States. Martin has moved up to the 30th player in the world and actually is ranked uh, four places higher than Wheaton coming into Wimbledon. We see here uh, he had a good first round, a tight first round against Rodolphe Gilbert, who beat Boris Becker at the French Open. Goriz from Spain, an easy match, and that great comeback against Goran Ivanisevich, two sets to one and four two down, and come back and win six, six love in the fifth set. To knock out last year's finalist, Ivanisevich. You were talking about uh, the Monday play. I think this is probably the hottest ticket of the whole championships, the Monday, because you get an opportunity to see all the players play. Great for the fans, and are, are you sure they're not coming to see the Wheaton Martin match oh, instead we saw of some Amber's Amer Foster? Well, we did, John, we did see some Americans out there, and they wanted, of course, to see uh, the two women that have already completed play, oh, uh, Raymond and Capriati, and these two gents. But uh, primarily, it's uh, the Brit uh, Foster they're waiting to see as you look at David Wheaton's report card. And we see beat Nicholas Pereira from Venezuela in the first round in four sets. Good win over Brian Shelton, a good server, 7 6 6 3 6 4. Here's the big match, best match of the tournament so far, Michael Chang, 6 4 in the fifth set. With John McEnroe and Bud Collins to Kenberg as we switch now to court one. Welcome back to Ken Berg with John McEnroe, Bud Collins, Chris Everett, and Hannah Storm will bring you up to date on all the final results as they play through this day. We're live from Wimbledon. We're out at court 14. Todd Martin taking the first set against David Wheaton. And now David Wheaton has broken Martin in the 11th game of the second set, and he will serve for the second set. Wheaton leads six games to five. Second six five. Set, Martin. So Wheaton. Uh, a service game away from uh, scoring that match at a set apiece. Countryman Todd Martin served to lead 6-5, and uh, he now serves. At uh, can't we have, don't have the score here, whether it's 15 all or 30 love. I believe that was the first point, love. Dick. 15 love. David Wheaton, a classic serve and volley player. We saw him play a great match against Michael Chang. Todd Martin just missing that passing shot wide. David Wheaton wearing his panted in USA headband again. Oh! Todd Martin having grown his new look, the beard. That comes on and off, doesn't it? He's had it before in his career, and then he decides he wants to show his face again. Makes him look older than his years. Yeah. He's just 22. 15 all. A double fault by Wheaton, his ninth double fault. Wheaton has six aces, and Martin has served big, 11 aces. This is a prize here. Nine double faults already for David Wheaton. With that type of pace, he'll be in the 20s or 30s by the end of the match. I said a couple days ago, the best ratio for aces to double faults is maybe three or four to one, and this clearly is not what David Wheaton wants. No, you don't want to be in the minus pool. 
just out. Late call. Wheaton doesn't like it. Jerry Armstrong is in the chair. Dick, I think what's most upsetting to David Wheaton is not the fact that it was called out, it's the fact that it was called out so late. He thought he had won the point. He'd started to turn around, and suddenly here's an out call. See him looking at that. See, he looks at the linesman. The linesman calls in suddenly. Change of decision. And an opening for Martin at 1530. Oh, well, wait here. I don't think Todd's going to give him the point, Dick. Oh, it was a ball that came over from uh, an adjacent court. This is the 90s now. It's not the 50s and 60s where they give each <laughs> other points. Players are told to play by the calls, by the Association of Tennis Professionals when they are brought to their training camp, so to speak, down in Ponte Vedra, Florida. Well, you're talking about these double faults. He's got a shot at the record. Tim Mayotte, 23. That's you. But Todd Martin will be very disappointed with that return. Didn't go after it, was tentative off that. Had an opportunity to perhaps go up 15-40 and maybe pull out a two sets of love lead. Big difference, two sets of love and one set all. 30 all, big point. Martin on Saturday, the match of his life, the former Northwestern All-America, as he defeated Gorn Ivanisevich, last year's finalist. Six love in the fifth. Ever improving, and uh, certainly for a big guy at 6'6", a comfortable on grass. And, of course, Wheaton, this has uh, been his best surface all the way to the semifinals here at Wimbledon a couple of years ago. And Martin can handle clay as well. <laughs> oh, set point for David 30, Wheaton. 30. David Wheaton appears to be just slightly more comfortable on this service than Todd Moore, and that's where I have to give him a slight edge right now. Todd Moore, however, had, as you said, a tremendous comeback from two sets to one and four two down to beat Goran Ivanisevic. So, mm. and an ace for Wheaton, his seventh, and they'll play best two of three for the final eight. Let's go over to court one, where Jim Courier. And out on court 14, one all, one set all. David Wheaton serving love 15, 40. 40. So three break chances for Todd Martin to draw even four all, and now it's 15-40. Boy, Martin had a second serve there. Put David it. Wheaton getting an early break in the third set, now trying to hold on for this two sets to one lead. Todd Martin, other things in mind. Love 40, like you said, a second serve. Didn't take advantage of it. Still 15-40. Did you ever play out on court 14, John? I never played a singles match. Doubles, no, you did. Doubles, yes. Classic? It really hasn't been long that we've had these courts. So no. It's only been, what, how many, five years maybe, Tim? About that, yeah. So two 30, breakers 40. gone. It's a good deep volley by David Wheaton. Has a totally open court to make it 30-40. Court 14, one of four courts away uh, from center court and court one that were uh, built uh, about five years ago. The rest of the complex to the other side of the two show courts. Boy, he's missed every first serve at Love 40. Wheaton with nine aces, 11 double faults. Creeping toward match. that record. And Martin, 17 aces, only three double faults. Wow. Oops, and another double fault, his 12th, and there goes the break lead for Wheaton. It's four all. Four games over.
David Wheaton, two years ago to the semifinals, where he had so many chances against Boris Becker, couldn't quite convert. But he says he's learned from that experience. This year, I feel like you know my tennis has been good, but it's it's gonna um, you know take a good mental effort to you know, to continue on and uh, maybe in '91 I didn't necessarily believe I could win it when I was in the semis, and that's why I didn't win one of those break points against Becker. You know, I had ten and didn't win one. Yeah. And I got to the point, but I didn't you know couldn't close come through. But maybe this year, um, if I get the chance again, I'll take it. Well, he's going to have to serve uh, more effectively than today. The double faults eating him up, 12 to nine aces. Al Martin at four all. That good is return. not a good ratio, Dick. Twelve double faults and nine no, aces. As you said, Todd Martin, 17 aces and only three double faults. Very, very good. And he had 16, Wheaton did, against Michael Chang. Now, how do you figure? Well, they certainly were going after a lot in the return, so he was getting a little bit tentative probably, trying to go for a little bit too much. But here I can't really explain it. Todd Martin is not a huge returner of serve. Ooh. So, love 30. Clearly, both of them off the return are going to try to keep the ball low since they're both so big. Wheaton at 6-4, Martin towering at 6-6. Would you say he's, he's the best really big man to play the game? Victor Amaya was 6-7. He seems more mobile than Victor. It seems in general the players are getting more mobile. I don't want to say that he's more mobile than Victor. Victor might be watching today. Well, I hope he is. Wish him well. That's an ace, and for Martin, his 18th ace. 15.30. And another. Seems to have a great rhythm to his serve, bud. Doesn't seem to put a whole lot of effort into it, but yeah, yet he has some good power. Yeah, that's the part of the deception, isn't it? It doesn't look as if he's really overswinging at all. Just good contact, and with that size and, and that angle from 6'6". Six, six. When you're 6'6", six, six, you don't have to do as much because you're able to come down on the ball more. You're so much higher up that you're swinging oh, down much more so than the smaller players. Nervous, you see a replay of this pat last point. Miss hit by David Wheaton. No problem for Todd Martin to put away. From Love 30, now 40-30. To go up 5-4 in the third set, one set all. Bjorn Borg wouldn't have wanted Victor Amaya any more mobile in that first rounder in 1978. 6-3 in the fifth. The defending champion, very fortunate to beat Amaya. Two sets to one in a breakdown. Oh! Jeez. Huh. Not the time to serve your fourth double fault. Martin stills only served four to Wheaton's 11. Or is it 12? Didn't he serve his 12th to lose serve? Mm-hmm. Well, oh, that's not very good play by either players. Todd Martin hitting that half volley two didn't put it short enough, gave David Wheaton an excellent opportunity here to do, to put this away. Didn't hit this where he wanted to. Wheaton tried to go at him and took his eye off the ball right at the last second. Should always keep your eye on the ball until that ball is hit. Rule number one. Martin knows he gives the uh, sky a little kiss that he got lucky there. So Todd Martin again, a point from 5-4, a set apiece. Out on court 14. Tight struggle on court 14. Martin leads five games to four. Back out now on court 14, where the third set hangs in the balance between David hey, oh. Wheaton, the server, and Todd Martin. They have split sets, 
And Wheaton a point away from five all. Okay, Wheaton. So five all it is. Boy, this is a tightly contested match. Five games all. Well, we saw Todd Martin the previous game when he was switching sides start to really start to pump himself up a la the even Ezevich match. So he's really getting into it now. This is big guys tennis. Martin, the server, 6'6", six, six, Wheaton, 6'4". Six, Have you checked yet into the average height of players since 1980 to 1990? That's a very good question. No, I haven't. I'm trying to check on your friend Gary Mueller. That's right. <laughs> Uh, and I've got the card coming. Gary Mueller, the left-handed South African who knocked out Tim Mayotte two years ago on the graveyard court, claims he served 56 aces at Roehampton in the qualifier. I'll get the card, and we'll check Gary's veracity. We are friends. That's what he told me, so we should check well, on that. Well, I never believe a player on things like that. I'm sorry. I'm and sorry, I, too, bud. And I don't say that viciously, as you might think. I just think that in the heat of battle, yeah, well, you got to check the, the Maybe card. Maybe it was 55. Che read the card. That's what I would say. <laughs> well, Sling's shot Schneiderman says, and I believe him, 20 aces now for Todd Martin. I do believe him. Forty love. Well, no question that in this battle of X, uh, U.S. collegians, Martin from Northwestern, Wheaton, Stanford, that uh, this fellow has served more effectively today. Northwestern, not exactly a mecca of tennis stars. It's great effort that Todd Martin's done as well as he has. 40-15. Well, Katrina Adams won the NCAA doubles a few years ago for Northwestern. You can't win tennis? I, I'm not going to respond yeah. to that. I've, okay. But what about the men's? And know? in the Big Ten, the University of Michigan has always been well Michigan's represented. Michigan's tough. But in days gone by, years and years and years ago, Northwestern had good teams. Yeah. Where did Marty Reeson go way back? Northwestern. Yeah. So 40-30 from 40 Love. Look at that return by David Wheaton, a screamer down the line. Forehand is weaker side. As we said the other day, Michael Chang. Seemed to go a little bit too much to David's backhand and paid the price. But he built up his forehand. He started going to the forehand, and David hit some pretty good ones, finally. Ooh. Hit that big one on break point in the fifth set. Deuce. Turning point of that match. Now, all of a sudden, back to Deuce. A set apiece, five all Deuce. Suddenly turning it up a notch. Terrific return of service. Look at this backhand return by David Wheaton. The inside out backhand. You can hear him saying, come on, come on to himself. He's hitting that shot as well as any other shot hit in this tournament, I'd say. Well, he was a terrific hockey player as a youngster. Left-handed shooter, Bobby Orr. He wore number four because Orr was his idol, and he says he's used that left-handed swing, applied it to tennis. You just saw one. Yeah. And Wheaton from... 40 love down, breaks Martin, and will serve for a two set to one lead. Out on court 14, David Wheaton, two points away from a two sets to one lead. Wheaton, who grew up in the Minneapolis area, he remembers at age 11 watching that 80 classic McEnroe defeating Bjorn Borg. And he said inspired ever since, and now a set point for Wheaton. Lake Minnetonka. He certainly was inspired by another amazing athlete when you mentioned Bobby Orr. We loved hockey. He would trail after his brothers and Jim Hunt. They're all going down to play hockey. And David said, I want to go along. He'd skate across the frozen Lake Minnetonka to his practice. <laughs> it's long, and David Wheaton has taken this two set to one lead. 7-5 in the third. Wheaton leads two sets to one. 30. The other part of the puzzle for Jim Courier looking ahead of Wednesday's quarterfinals is this match. Todd Martin, David Wheaton. Wheaton with a two sets to one lead oh. and had a two-break lead 
at three love in this fourth set and Martin recovered broke back twice. And now it's Wheaton serving at five six love 40 and uh, three chances for Martin to force a fifth set and this is what he did to Gordon Ivanisovic on Saturday rallying from two sets to one down should he convert. One of them wiped away. Dick, this is an incredible comeback once again by Todd Martin. He looked very discouraged at the end of the third set. 15, then gets 14. down two breaks in the fourth set. Looks out of the match, a la the Goran Ivanisevic match. You didn't think he could do it twice in a row. Now here he is, double set point to tie things up at two sets all. Great comeback. Martin has hit three sensational returns to get to this stage. And another. They go to the fifth set. What a comeback by Todd Martin from Lansing, Michigan. From two breaks down to take the fourth, 7-5. Please keep your seats for one more game. Not an end change. Thank you. Final set, Martin to serve. 